Hi everybody, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never 10 minutes wasted. Uh, in the workshop this week I've just got a quick follow-up video for you from uh, a series I did, I just started recently. That's coming right up after the jingle. Hi there. Um, so I posted the first couple of videos in a new series recently called Festool vs Cheap Tool. Uh, I pitched a 100 pound Titan track saw against the more like £400 Festool TS55R just to see what the difference was. It's something I'd wanted to do for a while and I was curious about it. The videos have gone down very well, getting lots of views, getting lots of new subscribers. Welcome everybody if you're one of those. Um, do check out my back catalogue and uh, uh, great to have you here. Um, I'm getting lots of great feedback, lots of great comments in the comments uh, down below each of the videos. and Some of the comments are coming up sort of frequently enough that uh, I probably just haven't explained this very well, what I'm doing here. Um, a couple of folks have, have suggested that it was uh, uh, an unfair comparison. Absolutely it's unfair, but it, it is totally relevant. If you're looking for a track saw, um, then you, you, know, you want a saw that runs on a track, plunges down to a certain depth and makes a good cut. What's the difference then between the really expensive one and the relatively cheap one? That's all I was trying to find out here. Again, um, I've bought both of these saws with my own money. I've got no axe to grind here. It's just a straightforward, simple test to see what the difference was. And again, I went, you know, going out of my way not to say which one is best because, you know, what's best for you isn't necessarily best for me. Um, and amongst all that, uh, a few folks have said, well, it wasn't really fair that I should use melamine-faced chipboard for the cut test because that's always going to be prone to chipping. Well, yeah, that was the point. Um, I wasn't testing how it cuts in melamine face chipboard. I was testing the stock blades that come with it. The Festool 48 tooth blade did very well. I've got to say, the Titan 24 tooth blade did far, far better than I was expecting, but the, the, the better cut definitely came from the Festool blade. Now, a few other folks have said, well, you could swap out the 24 tooth blade in the Titan for one with a, a higher tooth cut. Well, yeah, of course I can, but again, it's about testing the saws as they come. I, I mentioned at the end of the second video that I've got another series coming up called Track Saw Workshop, where we take a cheap track saw, uh, and the first episode of, the, of, of that series is going to be how to improve it, and obviously there'll be a, a blade change in there to see what difference it makes. Um, now, one of the other things that came up in the comments was, well, why are the Titan? There are cheaper track saws available. Again, just here in the UK, we are very fortunate. I know we've had a couple of comments from uh, subscribers in the US and Canada um, uh, to say that you know the, the cheapest alternative track saw is something like that. I think it's the Grizzly, which is a couple of hundred dollars. Um, so you know, about half the price, I guess, of the of the Festool, but not the the huge disparity in price that uh, that we see here. In fact, there are cheaper saws. Uh, than the Titan, and the reason I didn't choose those were, was sort of kind of threefold. First of all, I wanted the saws to be similar enough to be comparable, so they're both 1200 watts, they both have the same sort of cut capacities, 54 and 55 millimeters. I also wanted it to be uh, a brand name. You can get, you know, unbranded uh, Chinese saws off eBay. Um, power tool, you know, or, or whatever they're called. I've no idea what they're like. I've no idea if the sellers who sell them are going to be there next week. Uh, so I wanted a, a branded saw. It's an own brand, Titan, from a, a known retailer. Screwfix are a, a very well known for, for <laughs> they're very well known here in the UK. Um, uh, it's a national chain, so most places have uh, or one of their trade counters within reach, and they're also online, so they'll they'll deliver to you. So it's widely available, it's widely stocked, and it uh, comes from uh, a national retailer. Um, the, the, a couple of folks have said, well, why didn't you test the? There's a there's a, a little supermarkets have their own brand called Parkside, uh, and they have a track store as well, which is which is cheaper than this and, and similar in a lot of ways. Um, the, the problem with the Parkside one is that it's a special order that Little does once or twice a year. Um, so it's only available at set times. And I wanted something that was, you know, if somebody sees the review and is thinking of this saw, I want them to be able to go out and buy it. I don't want them to have to sort of schedule uh, a scramble, dash to Little on whatever morning when they might be available at that time of year 
to be able to buy one of these things. So that's that's the the criteria for the for the choice of the uh, of the Titan saw. Oh. Now there were another couple of comments as well. Uh, uh, it, it, when I edit these videos, I try and get them down to around about sort of 10 minutes, 11 minutes, as close as I can. They do run quite long. Uh, and I did mention a few things that were cut out of the edit and I just, just did just want to uh, refer to those quickly now. Um, that I mentioned about the variable speed on the uh, Festool saw, which the Titan doesn't have. Um, it also has soft start, uh, the Festool, which the Titan doesn't have. Um, uh, the first time I used the Titan saw, fired it up in my hand, it really kind of kicked, it really bucked in your hand. Uh, and it was quite a surprise because I've literally be so been softened up by, you know, 11 years of using Festool tools, which all have soft starts. So uh, th there's that. Again, does that matter to you? Uh, only you can decide that. It's nicer to have a soft start on a tool, we know that. Um, and the other thing is uh, brake electronic brake control on the Festool. The blade stops within a couple of seconds. Uh, I don't know if the Titan has uh, a, a brake on it. If it does, it's not very good because it takes about eight seconds to stop. Now again, does that matter to you? You know, once you've plunged your cut and the blades back up and contained, one of the big attractions of track saws is that the blade stays, you know, within the housing when it's not actually in use, so it is safer. Well, sometimes you need to make a cut on a plunge, some say, uh, and you've got to let the blade stop before you unplunge that. Now, if you're doing a lot of that, having a blade that stops within two seconds rather than one that stops in eight to ten, that's going to make a big difference to you if you're making a few hundred of those cuts. Um, does that make a difference to you personally? I don't know. You know, only you can decide that. This is this is something I've said uh, many times. Uh, uh, in fact, in the in the wind up uh, at the end of the second video, uh, I, I did say hands down the Festool is a better tool as you as you'd expect, which doesn't make the Titan a bad tool, not at all. Uh, I went through the, uh, uh, the the metrics, you know, the the, the measurable things, the, the 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 criteria by which you can use to purchase a tool, um, and I didn't really sort of uh, dwell on the Titan too much. Uh, if if your two main criteria are price and quality of cut, you know, hands down, <laughs> the Titan is the saw for you. I mean, really. Uh, if, if you don't care about the noise and the weight and the slightly sort of rough and ready, raucous nature of it, um, it, it's a fantastic tool for the money. Absolutely extraordinary that you can get a tool with that degree of, I won't say sophistication, but that level of capability for that kind of money is nothing short of astonishing. When I bought my first Festool 11 years ago, there was nothing like that uh, on the market. Uh, I think Maffle had one. Uh, it was the it was the one with the bent flexi rail, um, but it would only cut to forty mil. So you know, very limited use if you're doing kitchens or, or you wouldn't even trim an, an external door. So when I bought my festival was the only game in town. Now you've got so much more choice, uh, and the the videos I put out were just about sort of helping you make the right choice for you. Listen, I hope you uh, have enjoyed this quick little follow on video. Um, if you have, give it a thumbs up and uh, share it out amongst your friends. And I look forward to seeing you next time at 10 Minute Workshop. Take care.